New Zealand researchers are clashing with U.S. health officials over a new anti-smoking aid after a world-first trial was run by Auckland University. The Food and Drug Administration wants the electronic cigarette banned, but experts here say it does more good than harm. Jane Luskin reports. It looks like the real thing. It even puffs out a mist that looks like smoke, and it provides the nicotine kick that smokers crave. But the e-cigarette has one big difference. They're not going to die from an e-cigarette. <laughs> but they could die for, tomorrow from a heart attack due to their smoking. The Food and Drug Administration, which regulates medical products in the United States, isn't so sure. It says its tests found cancer-causing chemicals in e-cigarettes and wants them banned from sale until more studies are done. What's remarkable, actually, is the lack of evidence that these products are any better than standard smoking cessation treatments and, secondly, the inadequate testing for their toxicity. Auckland University has run the first ever trial of the e-cigarettes. It looked at withdrawal symptoms after using one compared to a nicotine inhaler and a regular cigarette. Researchers can't reveal the results until they're published in a medical journal, but they told 3 News the FDA is getting unnecessarily alarmed about one ingredient, propylene glycol. It's a chemical used in antifreeze and can be seen drifting across the stage at rock concerts, but there's no evidence it's harmful. That's not all. The carcinogens that we have found have been in very, very small quantity, just above the level of detection. In contrast, every time you take a drag on a cigarette, you breathe in 4,000 toxins. This stage, New Zealanders have to go online and import the e-cigarettes themselves. But Dr. Logerson says he would like to see them more readily available and he wouldn't hesitate to recommend them to anybody who's trying to quit smoking. Jane Luscombe, 3 News.